If I saw an Iron Man wannabe analog guy in the sky armed with a rifle flying around, I'd be nervous as fuck. Unless, that is, I were that guy. Oh shit. And remember, don't forget. Uh. We got a whole lot of shit for you all this goddamn week. There was an earthquake in Southern California this week that lasted for over 40 seconds. The biggest in 20 years. Those that lived through and remember the intense 1994 quake got an unfriendly nostalgic reminder. God damn earthquakes. So there was a festival this week in Detroit called the Afro Future Fest that caused quite a controversy. The event was charging twice as much for white customers than they were for people of color. Oh shit. Everybody went nuts from all sides. Oh, it's reparations. It's reverse Jim Crow laws. It's only fair. Privileged. Blah, blah, blah. Jesus fucking Christ. Can we call it what it really is? Discrimination? Regardless of race, it's discrimination. Same price for everyone. Bloody fair pricing. But it's a big deal because everyone's lost their goddamn minds lately. Could you imagine the shitstorm if it had been Black's charge for twice the price? Oh shit! Well that fat fuck finally did it, and quite unexpectedly mind you. Robert Kirkman, known for creating the Walking Dead franchise including the numerous TV shows, video games, all based around the comics he started all the way back in 2005, has suddenly ended his famed comic series after 14 years of success and excellent storytelling. I honestly was not fucking expecting this at all. Having been reading the comic monthly since late 2011, I expected at least a minimum of another 100 issues. Hell, he always said he'd make it to at least 300 issues. That fat, lazy, lying bastard. We'll be back after these messages. I heard you want to be a frito bandido like me. You too? Then you must sing the bandido song. Let's sing together. You just follow the bouncing Fritos corn chips bag. Ay, 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 ay. I am the Frito Bandido. Hey, I like Fritos corn chips. I love them, I do. I want Fritos corn chips. I'll get them from you. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, I am the Frito Bandito. Give me Fritos corn chips and I'll be your friend. The Frito Bandito, you must not offend. Now, boys and girls, you are Frito Bandidos too. You sing the Frito Bandito song and you look for crunchy Fritos corn chips. That's nice. Munch, 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 bunch of Fritos corn chips. Hello? I'd like to order french fries, a burger, and a milkshake. This is a library. I'd like to order french fries, a burger, and a milkshake. And now, back to our show. So news came out this week that Disney is going to go ahead with a live action remake of The Little Mermaid. Only they're going to cast her as black. These goddamn woke sons of bitches are going to fuck this character up too now. How will she be The Little Mermaid if she can't swim worth a damn? They quickly released later during the latter part of the weekend, a sneak preview for an incredibly politically correct and accurate live-action version of Mulan, minus the dragon, cause that'd be too racist. I'll tell you the timing is sure as fuck interesting, alright? We got two goddamn trailers this week. 
First we got a trailer for Jumanji Next Level. I'm loving the concept for this sequel what with the old farts accidentally stumbling into the video game. And finally we also got a trailer for Knives Out, a film which reminds me a hell of a lot of Clue. It's Colonel Mustard in the bathroom with the huge black rubber dildo I tell you. There was an earthquake in Southern California this week that lasted for over four- uh, fuck! <coughs> so what the- fuck! Well that fat fuck finally did it, and quite unexpected- fuck! And that ends another goddamn week. If you got any comments or ideas, I'd love to hear them. Now subscribe!